Uh, a lens is for a TV camera costs more than a lens for a 35 millimeter. But one of the main advantages is, I had just spoken with somebody the other day, he said, yeah, he says one of my friends was in Italy and they shot a, a movie with that or a commercial or whatever it was. He says, the great part was they didn't have to get a film permit because they just filmed it like they people were, were walking and talking yeah, and doing... That's the advantage. It is guerrilla mm -hmm. filmmaking, but you can do... Uh, Okay, uh, there is a way you can take that camera and you make a 3D out of it. What yep. you do is you sit there and you can, uh, a picture in picture gives you a, a low quality anagraphic 3D. You sit there and put one thing down, you, you basically how you do is you uh, change the color a little bit on each one of them. You skew the color, you put the colors right on top of one another, just a little hair off. And basically you've got uh, cheap ass you know, you know a, 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 a B movie 3D film, which is what a lot of them got to be. The, 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 or you can send it out to a production house that'll do it. A production for you. house, you shoot it and they'll send it out and they'll 3D your film for you because they have the processing equipment. And it, they don't have to sit there and. Uh, I humanly, when I do stuff, I have to sit there and watch the processing when I'm doing stuff. They don't. They just do it a computer because the computer's not going to make an ape, an error. Mm -hmm. And they also have a hell of a lot of better computers than me. Mm -hmm. so. But um, 3D, I, I think, I still look at it as a, as, a, as a passing fancy because how do you shoot sports? Mm -hmm. You have to shoot sports low and up close. When you get further away, it makes the 3D look bad. Mm -hmm. So, and it's not really, sports are not really designed to shoot 3D because if you're shooting close, uh, okay, we did it uh, over at the AVP. The people were very nice to us in practice. Mm -hmm. One of the girls said, you know, one of the team, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll cram balls down your throat. She would do it. Wham! The balls were coming. But you need them coming at the camera. You don't have that in a regular match. Yeah. You can't because the, half the action is on the other side of the net, which means you don't get anything on the other side of the net. And... Uh, and yeah, because the 3D is you want it coming towards you. Yeah. It doesn't work as well away from you or going side to side. And if you're the cameraman, you can't move your position with this because they're charging at you. No, they're going to charge right through your camera position. That's the only way you're going to get the 3D action coming at you. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, it's bad for a baseball game. They're talking, well, 3D is mainly going to be a great port attraction. Well, a baseball, you're hitting the ball. Once the ball goes, once you get, you know, the guy gets to first base, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to put the 3D cameras up above. Well, then it breaks the rules of shoot low and shoot close. It's not good for up and wide. Mm -hmm. Wide angle is 3D. Well, because good. part of it is if you don't, if you shoot it in these different manners, it's not as effective as 3D. That's right. Wide you angle. might as well just use high depth. Wide angle lenses are not good for 3D. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a narrower lens. And telescopic, don't, don't do a telescopic shot because like I told you. Okay, here, this in 3D looks good. This in 3D is just totally a, an ordinary 2D picture. Mm -hmm. It's just like it doesn't exist because I, I do it all the time. I, I, I practice, I'll put, um, I'll do something in the background and I'll put her in the front and the foreground in 3D. And it looks pretty neat, but it still, it shows you the, the deficiencies with the system. And I don't see how they're going. To, I don't see how to shoot. I, I do think it's going to cost a million bucks, and they're mm -hmm. going to put it out there with two or three million dollars with a of a demo reel. Right. And they're going to say we did it, and then yeah. But it's it's, it's got the old theory. But the, once again, the gentleman from Sprint who got fired because he basically tried to do things on the up and up. He said uh, the problem with the internet is that you're trying to kill a flea with a howitzer when a fly swatter works. The same thing with the TV industry. They think that they have to have something different to give to the people to sell the product that's simply overpriced to begin with and will now cost more money. Mm -hmm. They won't buy it. 3D is a... I don't like 3D. I work in it because you got to understand it. Like the cinematographer, I went and saw Avatar in five different forms. Actually, gentleman over at the Rose Parade had taught. He'd taken his family out. Mm -hmm. Five different forms he'd seen that. And he said, I, I, I've been getting sick after the first ten minutes because there's just so much stuff coming at you, it overwhelms your, um, your mind. It's meant specifically for action things. But the more you have to, you know, because 3D is an optical illusion. 
And here is the big problem with 3D, which they don't seem to understand and never will. They didn't understand it when I was young. They don't understand it now. Yeah. Classes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, over 60% of the people in this nation wear, have eye problems wear glasses. Well, you know, there's a lot of people that have, have LASIK. There's people that um, and are in contacts. Contacts, not as much. Or reading glasses. Oh, uh, you but any form of contacts is uh, the same yeah. difference. You're still putting a glass on top of glasses. And uh, I mean, I'm looking at the monitor right now. God, it makes the things look really bad. And it gives me a headache. This is the problem. And, you know, uh, it, what you're going to do, if you do a screen that basically takes the place of the glasses, you still don't have the problem that causes astigmatism to happen in your eyes if you're wearing glasses. It looks great if you're, they said it looks great if you're 14 years old and don't have, to, don't have, don't have eye problems. But when you start to get older, and as they have all of a sudden discovered, the majority of people that watch TV are old. And why are they watching TV? Because like me, they have no life. <laughs> you, okay, you get to a certain age, and everybody you know no longer either lives in the area or they're dead. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You mean you? Those are the people that go to the movies. Those are the people that go to the theater. Those are the people that go out and eat. Those are the people that watch television. But the people younger that have uh, people that they live they live in the area where their friends are, they're young, they don't bother with television. They're not going to watch 3D on TV because they got better things to do. They don't watch 3D in the movies because they have better things to do. Okay, um, let's put it this way. I've never seen a 3D movie where a guy and a girl could have a good time in the theater together. <laughs> yeah. That's why you go see low-budget, you know, movies. That's why that AIP existed because you do these, you know, you basically the guy would take the girl to the movies to give her an idea. Yeah, you kind of get an idea, you know, like this at the movie. No. She's gonna, uh, yeah. Oh, is she swimming with no clothes on in the water? And then uh, I think she's naked, you know. That's, that's not going to work. That's not a good movie. That's not called a date movie at all. Mm -hmm. You'll never see a chick flip done in one. God, there's no market for that. Oh, boy. You're going to see, uh, you know, eat, drink, pray in 3D. Well, part of it, I'm anxious to see what Toshiba finally pulls out. We will, because point. we're going to get in. We'll get an invitation, because we actually are on the early list for the CES this year. I'm, I'm just really anxious to see what they're going to pull out because, I mean... Actually, I'm on the Toshiba mailing list too. I forgot about that, so... Yeah. So, no, it is... I'm, I'm so whether it's really marketing ploy or they really do have some... So things, I think right? they're going to bring out one television set like the car manufacturer bring out that one car they know that will never be sold, but this is a prototype of the future. Oh, um, um, yeah. Anybody go remember the Disney house of the future in Disneyland from, like, 1960? where they had the 3D TV set of the future? No. Well, well that's right. You weren't, <laughs> you weren't alive then, and I was, I was dancing in movies and things. I would I was, I was be a mean, a mean German with my old swastikas on. But um, no. <laughs> so, but that, I, my family had a lifetime pass to so I got to see all this stuff. No. They had a 3D set. That was the 3D set of the future. That was 50 years ago. I don't know, Bruce, I mean, I was, I was an old person when she wasn't even born yet, so so I remember all this stuff. And it hasn't progressed any more since the House of the Future still isn't here. That was supposed to be the 1980s. Mm -hmm. It's 2010, going on 2011. That House of the Future is still not here. That TV set they're talking about. Oh, we're still waiting. Yeah, the TV set will happen. I mean, it will happen someday, but not in the form. I'm looking at... Um, Something that a, a, a television set that will give you multiple forms of viewing with uh, various sound systems at a cost that people can afford. If, when that happens, you're gonna sell those sets by the tons. Mm -hmm. But you gotta you gotta wipe out the, this problem because most of us do wear glasses, and again, you know, there's a headache problem. The instant you put that second set on, you start feeling it right here, and you start going woozy, and then there's also the problem, here is the big problem in 3D.
Oh. It's line of sight. Mm -hmm. And unless that's a convex screen, and the T and they don't make convex LCD screens, folks, because they gotta be straight because they'll they have a problem with it collapsing in on itself. It's a straight thing with a little bit of a warp, but you have to have a bigger, a much bigger warp in order to see it in 3D when you get off the site. It means if you're setting over here, you know, uh, uh, because it's all, everything is designed for every 3D thing we've seen, if you set square in the middle, which I've managed to, I'm getting hurt, at, I'm taking her to the areas right square in the middle because off the site it really looks crappy. But those are the problems. We'll see a 3D session. That's she was going to bring out the most god awful beautiful TV set, just like Gaddish K. I know. Brought out the most beautiful but 3D cameras well, we, in the world. We already have an idea what we're going to be seeing, but you know what? Still anxious to see it. Yeah. yeah. Still anxious. I'm, well, I'm perfectly willing to bring one of them home and test it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll volunteer. You know, we we volunteer to bring her to Shiva home, and we'll. But unfortunately, we are. We're, we're, we're member, we're, our, our, the owner of our company is a dog, and since that dog isn't supposed to vote and it has very strict standards, we have to tell people the truth about something we see. Of course, she will probably vote in election in 212 because by that time, anybody in the country will be able the to dogs. And she actually was born in this country, too, so. Mm -hmm. And she's far old enough now, so. Oh, okay. But I guess we, you know, we, got, we went on random way because we do this every time they do something in 3D that we know is totally asinine. I'm anxious to see it. You're anxious to see it. I, well, I'm always okay. anxious we'll to see it. We'll put it this way. We're getting one of those brand new 3D cameras in about two months. So, so to say that, well, they're stupid. Well, the problem is, is that we have to do the stupid thing before the other people do the stupid thing. Otherwise, we'll be behind the stupid eight ball. I know. We'd rather be in front of the ball rolling over us. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Get that over. When we're buying a Sony, brand new Sony camera, because the Sony camera, the Sony camera comes first. We need that one because we want to do 3D with that one. The next camera has a detach. The next to Panasonic with a detachable lens on it, which basically all we want is the lens. I don't care about the camera. The camera's an old pile of crap. You know. So last year's model. You know, I just want that lens that basically will screw into our arm lenses, because, and then we're so much better off. So, but until then, this is all. Okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net, which is actually starting to fill up because the fall is coming, which means we're actually starting to get information again. Yes! Summer is a dead time. Our website goes like this in the summer. And wherever you're watching us, follow us. And if you caught our News avatar? Yeah, every day we got a news avatar now. I mean, basically we got the politically correct avatar because she's she's dressed as a politically correct news person should be with an ill-fitting jacket and a skirt that's at her knees. <laughs> and perfectly coiffed hair. <laughs> so and it is it's her folks. I mean you look now if you can see the full size version, it is her. So <laughs> So stay tuned, of course, watch our 3D coverage at News Video Web and 3D um, News Video Web 1, Bikini's Art, you know, and all the different all channels. All the stuff. But all meanwhile, yeah. always check up on us at MontyBubbles.net. Or, or Twitter or Facebook or any of those. We're all over the place. But check us out. <laughs>